What's up everyone? Thanks for stopping by my channel. It's Team Queen and Metality. Be sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell down below. So that way you get to know when I post all of my tea talks. I know I sound nasally as all get out. But I have been sick. Okay? I have been sick. <coughs> Excuse me. But I missed you all. And so did Nilo. <laughs> So, I'm going to push through and give y'all a video, okay? Now, charge it to my head, not my heart, all right? All right. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well, swell, thriving, and surviving, okay? Uh, by all means, it is officially holiday season. So, we are definitely going to be in the mix of doing a lot of things with Arts at 3634, <coughs> Stella, Okay, Stella Bistro Foods. And then, of course, over here. Um, so, we have a lot of different things that are coming. I am super proud of myself. Just just for just pushing through, period. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Like, we're the bin, but we ain't supposed to fold. You dig? So, I love that. I love that. I love that. Needless to say, go ahead. Get your water. Get your wine. Get whatever it is you sipping on. Get it and bring it close. This is my first official day being able to taste everything fully again so I double check I, I took a test it won't you know what I'm saying it, 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 it won't the C word but needless to say when you're working with students they're definitely what I learned they call pastry dishes okay so who oh Jesus but needless to say, I hope my next video, I feel a lot better. All right, so I know you got your water, you got your wine. Come on in the room and sit close, okay? So it is Scorpio season. That's my season. That's my season, okay? All right. Now, a lot of the times, you know, we think about birthdays and everything like that. And we think about what we're going to do. I am... Taking a different approach this year because I definitely did have a lot of ups this year being that the year before I felt like I wasn't I wasn't in the corner but I damn sure was in the paint you feel me I was damn sure in the field you feel me um I definitely felt like me and the universe was shooting a fade a one-on-one -on -one, um the year before last but needless to say for whatever things that I thought were setbacks I had to go back and watch one of my lead videos of, of being able to like elevate my mindset and remember that sometimes setbacks are just catapults. They really are. And depending on how much you learn in between the time of you going back and revisiting what you were doing in the first place and set yourself up to be able to move forward and be more confident, you know, that acceleration, that, that learning all that learning literally is going to be your learning curve you feel me so um i definitely made sure i stayed in a paint all six to twelve rounds okay you know period one to three i'm learning but between that four and that six okay it's time to show out it's time to show some so um needless to say yes we do got a lot of different things going on um I'm going to leave that for the other channel. Okay, so cool. So, again, I know you probably need a refill right now. It's been a minute since you see me and I've seen you. So, I just wanted, you know, to fill you in on that part. <coughs> Let's get down to the nitty gritty while we're here, okay? So, the different perspective, the different um, outlook that I'm going to try with this new year that's coming is something that I learned in, in class not that long ago. And it was very interesting because a lot of times we do think, um, we do, we do, we do think a certain way. And then when things don't really pan out, then we're like, you know, what went wrong? And so I could see how what I learned in my clinicals and what I've learned on my own as a life lesson and um, on my spiritual journey, I could see how they all 
um, intertwine with one another, okay? <coughs> they all, they all cross each other's path. How about that? So, <coughs> there we go. Hold on. I'm okay. I'm okay. So, first thing is first. We need to have this tea talk because, um, you know, everyone talks about um, affirmations. Everyone talks about manifestations. Everyone talks about writing a list and checking it twice like Christmas is going to come every fucking day. And we don't really, really take a look at the patterns of why things come how they do in the forms that they do all right and a uh, a wise speaker at a TED talk once said that a lot of people who try to move forward they're thinking with the mind of the past not with the mind of the possible okay so i did a video back in the day called i i'm possible impossible and so definitely ahead of my time because that definitely coincides that's one part you know instead of thinking like oh well say for instance the example that they use they said hey you know would you buy a twelve hundred dollar vacation package if they sold it to you for like a thousand dollars okay so the next year you get that same vacation package but it's not a thousand dollars it's fifteen and so once all the fees and stuff are inside of it, it's 15. Would you still would you still get that same $1000 package for 1500? And a lot of people said no. Uh the statistics the people in experiment said no because guess what? In the past they got it for $1000. Why is it when it's 15 with everything included, I still can't get it for a thousand dollars. Well, guess what? Your mind is in the past. You're thinking in the present. You're supposed to get things of the past. Now, understanding the possibility of the value can go up. It can go up. It can go down. But the bottom line is you're stuck with this thinking pattern of you assuming that the past is going to be an answer for your present and it's going to be a prediction for your future and that's not the case so that's definitely one part of it my part of it that I really 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 feel is like the stilts on whatever it is that you're trying to have movement for um, are, are your words your words are so magical because they can either you know fight for you or they can make it so that you know you have a fortitude around you and when I say fortitude I mean there's two different groups of people I've learned in life that exist you have folks that don't deal with folks because of how folks are right and then you have people who don't deal with folks because folks don't fuck with them all right one of them is more of a you know hyper vigilant protect my energy protect my peace of mind and then you have folks over here that are lonely or are feeling neglected and abandoned because they you know there there's there's no reciprocity there so when when it comes down to what you say and how you say it you, you know, you really need to check yourself first. And it's okay to check yourself first. There's some sentences like, the people who know me know me, right? And I'm really big on like, look, I, I just put the words together in a sentence. I didn't mean any harm if it came out that way. But I mean, it literally is the words in that sentence. Like, <laughs> like I, I don't mean any harm or whatever but like that's just that's the sentence they'd be like it's okay Ashley we get it we get it we get it so you know um when it comes down to your words you have to understand like they power up whatever it is that you're trying to do they charge up whatever it is that you're trying to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to do um you start off the day feeling like Oh, I can already tell this is going to be a long day. I can already tell this is going to be a bad day. You know, that's what it's going to be then. But if you wake up and you say something 
that you're happy about, even if it's just the fact of you just want to say thank you to the universe or to the Holy Spirit, then it is what it is, right? Say it because you appreciate it. And from that, other things will come into your grace and be blessings to you. Other things will come into your in, into your presence that really may seek more mercy than what your patience can uh, account for. And yet, you'll still be able to get through. You'll still be able to find your way. You'll still be able to see you didn't, you didn't, uh, you didn't fold. You'll still be able to see that you were consistent and you kept getting back the fuck up. But when we use our words to do things that uh, manipulate or say hurt someone else in any shape, way, or form, we have to understand everything has a return. So just like you have a capital letter at the beginning of your, your sentence, so is a punctuation mark at the end. Everything has a return. What goes around comes around. And it's so interesting that now these days, harm comes back around twice as fast. Like they won't even get to investigate in your case if you wishing death on someone else first. That I mean like dead ass. That's, that's what's going on. Because times is getting short now. Days is getting short and now we wishing that we can live longer, but we don't we don't ask for that over ourselves because we're too busy bullying somebody else or trying to stand over others. And really, it goes right back to you checking yourself. <coughs> I hear him somewhere. Oh, I see him. Yeah, check yourself. My thing is, if you don't have to... If you don't want to have to worry about always putting yourself out there to cultivate relationships, just know what it is first and foremost you're, you know, you're going to tolerate and also what you're not. It goes right back to boundaries as well. You have to have boundaries on your words. If you want good for you, you got to put boundaries on, on how, you know, you tolerate verbally someone else. Because sometimes, even though it may it may make you seem like you're on the spectrum, walking off and not saying nothing, sometimes is the best thing to do. Because what's the point of you taking your intelligence, taking your esteem mentality, and taking it to a level where you're going to have to work back up from? Not because you don't know, you genuinely don't understand, but because you fucked up and relapsed dealing with toxicity whether it's people places or things and when we when we want to dissect and when we sit down and we try to decode really what is the issue here what is the problem ultimately a lot of times we hear this thing in the back of our head that's like either the grass isn't greener on the other side or things aren't what they're cracked up to be and so we have to think about, did you speak out of fear or did you speak out in form, you know, like as in like you're declaring that you're going to make something happen one way or another. And it's going to be for your purpose and what you're supposed to do. OK, sometimes we can want success so much that we fear it. But what is it that you're running away from? Is it the thing of, you know, what comes with it? Or you don't want to deal with the accountability of what you're going to do to say that you make it. We got to ask these type of questions. So when we get to a point this week or any time and you feel as if like you're so irate that spitting venomous bullets, verbal bullets, is going to be what will help you relieve yourself and take you off that ledge and calm you down and take that deep breath. I want you to under I want you to decode this while you take that breath. Okay? Because the roots the roots are all in the words. What in the words took you there? What took you there? And and where are you trying to go? Okay, because some people they work, some people they work forward, some people work backwards. I'm both. Okay, lefty and righty, the uh, both. All right, apples and oranges, bitch. They still look like fruit to me. Okay, both. So you know when I feel like I'm on a ledge and I have to talk myself back, back up. It's a thing of take a deep breath, 
Okay. Now, was that a casualty thing or was that direct? Okay, we got to figure that out because guess what? Based on where this person stands in my circle, depending on how close they are to me, that's my starting point of if this was uh, disingenuous or not. And then I go from there. And if it is or isn't, a, B, C, D, F, G, A, B, C, F, G. Everything stems from something. So you got to get to, you got to get to the root of it in order for you to actually fix it. Not uh, not just fix it, cure it. Okay. All right. Sometimes you get the best gardens when you burn the grass. Ask your grand folks about that one. Ask your grand folks about that one. Okay. Ask your grand folks. So yeah. I think my favorite one growing up, well, you know what? My favorite one to help me understand the difference is this. I remember when I was paying for college, right? I was paying for college. I was going through, you know, a divorce. As we all know, divorces cost money. And um, I was getting right back out on my own again. And I remember one of my pastor's friends, he had told me, he said, you know, there's a difference in you saying I can't afford it and I can't afford it right now and when I actually connected the dots on that it's made a whole difference your words make a whole difference they're like angel but uh, not angel does Jesus I don't need y'all trying no PCP um fairy dust <laughs> fairy dust okay so you know your words are fairy dust it's just like if I was to say you know um I hope you have a nice day right some people be like okay go to Walmart I get cat food here you go here's your change have a nice day you will too fairy dust okay for all you know a person could not have been having a good day until they came across you it's typically a situation I make them laugh and they seem lighter and happier and then I end it with them giving me my change and I say thank you I appreciate you and you will have a good day it I mean everything has a return so guess what when my day goes smooth the parents come pick their kids up early I'm able to have an extra couple minutes to myself I'll be able to deal with this one over here. Oh, I'm Gucci. It's Christmas to me. But you got to understand everything has a return. And it starts with your words. It ends with your words. Because a lot of times when we say and do things and we have to look at our decisions and our choices, we either say, I'm glad I did it or I wish I didn't. True story. No, you all. Why are you? <laughs> Hey, he's been so sweet. He's been looking after his mama this whole entire time I've been sick. So I had to, we had business trips and everything that we had um, on the docket and everything. And with me just being just really out of it, oh my gosh, it was just, um, it, he, he, did his, he did his job. Give mommy a kiss. Thank you. <laughs> he did his job. So I want y'all to give him a round of applause in the video if you got this far. Yes, I I, I, I check my nose. I'm good. All right. This is my baby right here. You want loyalty? You tired of people doing you wrong? Get you a pet. And a pet will teach you about unconditional love. Trust me when I tell you. So... Other than that, y'all let us know how you like the video. Let me know what you think. Tell Nilo good job in the comments. He did his thing looking out for his mommy. It was my first time actually having a cold and flu with him. Like as far as like him being in my life as my child. And so, um, of course, it was a little weird for him because he's used to my voice. So for me not to be able to talk and my throat, my body was hurting. I couldn't really get up. Um, it was just all out horrible. And um, he came. He checked on me. Um, luckily, he has an automated feeder for everything. 
in his bathroom so he was good to go but every time I turned around this joker was at my feet laying at my feet laying right at my nose doing this with his hands look showing them hands showing them hands showing them hands see you train so well you won't do it on camera but we be out here <laughs> we be out here with the boxing with the little boxing mats but anyway y'all i gotta go we got other things we gotta do today make sure you shop nilo and co at walmart okay we are officially on the walmart website <laughs> so make sure you shop us by all means ah no you didn't just steal off on me Oh, you are a mother's child. <laughs> you are a mother's child. Did he just steal off on me? Look, don't steal off on me again. Look. Look at him trying to steal off. My baby. All right, y'all. Be sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe. Okay? It's all free. All right? Outside of that, be sure that y'all come back. Make sure you share and make sure you care. And I will see y'all for our next tea talk. Say bye bye. Hold on, I gotta I gotta get up and get the thingy because I haven't got my clicker yet. Here, get up, use your hands and hit the stop button. Get up <laughs> hit the stop button. <laughs> You're so heavy. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hit the stop. Don't don't worry about it. I got you. Don't have thumbs. I do. I got it. <laughs>